for wheelchairs and wheelchair seating systems. Effective May 1, 2017, Arkansas Medicaid Prosthetics Manual is updated to clarify the prior authorization process for wheelchairs and wheelchair seating systems. Medicaid covers wheelchairs and wheelchair seating systems for individuals starting at age two through adults. Medicaid made changes in the hopes of clarifying our manual. We thought this would make the process a little bit easier to understand. There are no great changes. We just are doing some clarification. We have to answer any questions. All right, Representative Hammond, you're recognized for a question. Thank you, Madam Chair. I've got a constituent in my area, and I wish I would have been a little more diligent. I might have had a better prepared question, but can you tell me about the uh, reimbursement rate time for providers that are giving the prosthetics uh, to the patients and uh, is the timely is the payment pretty timely or are there any issues in that particular area and let me clarify what you're asking me you want to know are we having any problems with the PA process how long it takes is that what you're asking me yes or, right well prior authorization that that's one issue but then once prior authorization has been done as far as the provider who is actually you know, making the prosthetic, getting it to the patient. What about the payment time to them? Both issues. Um, the PA process, I'll address that one first. In the past, I know that there has sometimes been issues with the PA process taking too long. And part of that is due in this particular case for wheelchairs because it is a very complicated system. I had no idea before I started working in Medicaid how complex determining whether or not the wheelchair was the correct one. So a lot of times there's information that has to go between the um, DHS and back to the provider asking for additional documentation and for documentation about add-ons, which is like um, the luxury package for your car, to, for those types of things to see whether or not they're medically necessary or there's something for the convenience or just the patient wants those types of things. So sometimes that process takes a little bit longer, but we are constantly working with AFMC who does our PA process in this case to make sure that they shorten that time to get that as quickly as possible. The second issue, um, once a provider bills, the way the Medicaid billing works is the provider can bill once a week as long as they get their um, billing in, in the system by noon on Friday, they normally will have a check in the bank no later than Thursday of the next week. It takes HPE approximately two days, sometimes a little bit longer, but on average two days to process a claim. Okay, so if I want to get the, and it's a provider uh, that I'm referencing, if I want to get that provider with somebody to make sure their needs are getting taken care of, get with you or AFMC? It kind of you need to get in touch with me. And we'll, we'll run the traps and see how long it's taken for them to get paid. And prior authorization? Um, still contact me and I'll go through AFMC and see what their vendors have any issues. Okay, I'll get with you off record. Right. Thank you. All right. Offline, sorry, not off record. Right offline, sorry. Thank, Thank you, Andrew. Sure. All right, any other questions? Seeing no other questions, we will send this out as reviewed. And thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. All right. Uh,